Okay, I'm making another one brake cab. For over 40 years, that's all I've had are one brake cabs. This one's on my 758. I had one on a 318 for like 30 years. Then I had one on this 758 that came off the receiver hitch down here. And uh, the bracket started there and came up and across. I've got it on some of my videos. It was a little bigger cab than this one. But then I bought this ROPS bar here and that kind of changed everything. I had to get rid of the other one. I was an electrician for over 40 years, so bending conduits, you know, right up my alley, but that's what they start with. And this is at the construction stage here yet. This one's really nice and light. I don't need any extra bracing or nothing. I made it 34 inch high because in the loft of my garage up there, it's 34 inch from the top to the ceiling. And it's so light, I'll be able to pick it up and put it right in there. But I don't need a cab. I mean, cabs are nice if you're out there for a long time, but I'm never out doing anything for more than probably 30 minutes at the most. And I live in Minnesota. I've been here all my life. I'm used to the cold. It doesn't really bother me. And I dress warm. So I don't need, you know, a radio and a heater and a fan and all these blinking and flashing lights. This is all I need. And uh, right now I have it to the point where I have all the holes drilled all over. They're six inches apart. So when I do find some clear material, when I go buy it, I mean, I can just put it on the sides. Then I'm getting a windshield. I forget the name of the material. It'll be a quarter inch thick for the front here. And then I'll put a wiper in it, a hand operated wiper like I had in my last cab. Or you can just grab from the inside here a lever and just kind of work it. And then on the top, I'll either make it clear material or black. I don't really know what I'll do yet. But it started out here, I uh, bought these stainless steel brackets. I think they're two and a half inch this way. This conduit's three quarter inch. It's like an inch in diameter. So I just typed in on Google U-shaped stainless brackets. You can see they're a perfect fit there. This is just a bolt. Uh, the hole that's here, there was another one here. And you can see the head over there on that side. It's a four inch long, three quarter by four inch long bolt. Then in the end of it, I drilled and tapped a quarter inch in here. And uh, then when I take the cab off the loft, I'll just set it in place on here. Bring in the bolt from the inside and, you know, pin it on the outside here. It's just all temporary and all. That's the hinge point where it'll swing from. And this one will be light enough. I'll just grab it under here, lift it, get under it, and let it back down on top of me. And... That's really all I want, is to uh, have the wind not blow the snow on me. So it'll work just fine for me. And it's cheap and it's easy and I can do it myself and I don't have to use a hoist to lift the cab off and I don't have something on there that's rubbing through the paint all over and I like things that are easy and, and this is very easy to do. And I'll, I'll have a video on it when it's done and Probably blowing some snow or something, but uh, anyway, that's it for now. Take her easy.